Hello and welcome back to the show. I am backstage at the Borderline with Sons of Icarus. How are you doing, guys? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. good. Excited. <laughs> uh, you're quite right to be excited. It's the beginning of your co-headline tour with the Jokers. Um, where are you guys off to, and is there anywhere in particular where you guys are really looking forward to playing? Well, actually, this is just a one-off show that we've got. It's, uh, it's a one-off show we're doing tonight as a double-header, so it's... Um, as far as we know, anyway. Yeah, hopefully they're not backed into, like, somewhere else, because... We don't know about it. <laughs> yeah, if this is a tour, it's the first we've heard about it. But, um, but yeah, it's just a one-off. We're both celebrating uh, releasing new material, so that's going to be our new single, which is uh, Let It Burn, and their new album, which is Rock and Roll Is Alive. Have I got that right? don't know. Yeah, that's the one. So, um, so yeah, we're having a bit of a party tonight. <laughs> yeah. Like. Um, but where are you guys heading off to? And is there anywhere in particular that you are looking forward to playing? We've got the boiler room in our hometown, Guildford. Yeah, that's going to be a good show. This on the 29th of November. Yeah, we're completely like doing it all ourselves, promoting the whole thing ourselves, and just you know, we obviously we'll headline it, and we're just going to have all our favourite bands come down and support and just have a massive night of rock and drunken idiocy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got quite a few good bands on that night. Like, what's, what's the lineup we've got at the moment? Four Wheel Drive, isn't it? Four, four Wheel Drive. Four Wheel Drive, drive. Four -wheel drive confirms. New uh, Device. New Device, new device. that's going to be a good one. Yeah, and, and White Pigeon. White Pigeon Gilford's, as well. Guildford's own White Pigeon. Yeah, so, um, come yeah. down. Yeah. 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 I may just do that. <laughs> it's a bit far for me, but I'm sure it'll be worth the journey. Um, who are you guys, who do you base your influences on personally and musically? Uh, it's kind of like riff rock stuff, I mean, like Audio Slave, Rage, kind of areas of riff, riffage, uh, stoner stuff like Caius, Orange Goblin, I think mean, Clutch, uh, who else? Led Zeppelin, kind of stuff. Yeah, there's always the old school bands, Aerosmith, your Aerosmiths and your Led Zeppelins in the mix, um, but I think. Mainly, it's sort of more recent bands. I'm, um, you know, just sort of been listening to a lot of Foo Fighters recently, and started getting back into Feeder again, which is, you know, I haven't listened to them for years. But other than that, yeah, like Steve says, all the riff, all the riffy stuff, some punk, so just loads of stuff. It's great. Anything that's great. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, man? Um, pretty much the same. We all pretty much listen to the same kind of music. We are the same soundtrack in the band. Yeah, um, lots of Water Bridge. And yeah, what those guys said. <laughs> fair play, fair play. Um, summer has just finished, unfortunately. Um, have you guys been playing any festivals? And during the summer, what would you say was your favourite gig? What's our favourite gig? Favourite festival gig was probably Cock Rock. <laughs> Cock Rock was a good one. Yeah, that was, that was good. I think, yeah. who else played at that as well? It was Feeder played. Yeah, Feeds Wiley. Wiley, yeah. Wiley was there. Wiley kicked off again. Yeah, he didn't I, play. I don't know if people have heard the story. Like, Wiley kicked off at Glastonbury. He tweeted, like, uh, this got into the papers. He tweeted about um, why the hell did his agent books him into playing some stupid field or something like that. <laughs> in Brent, so, um, yeah. well, well, Glastonbury just said in the stupid field. When He did exactly the same when he got to Cock Rock. He got in loads of trouble for Glastonbury. As soon as he got to Cock Rock, he tweeted, why has my stupid agent booked me into a field to play to a bunch of inbred pagans? <laughs> so obviously when he gets on stage, there was piss bottles thrown at him. Apparently he had three dildos thrown at him as well, <laughs> which is absolutely brilliant. But so um, I th I think yeah, 15 minutes later, he, he left. He took his... Um, Actually, I'm not going to say too much about the money because I don't know if that's going to get me in trouble. But he took his fee and he left. Um, yeah. And yeah, I've got a feeling he's actually being sued by the festival now. Which and that was all before we even got to play. So that was fun. Happening. So basically, Wiley, if you ever listen to this, you're silly. You shouldn't treat your fans like that. And any publicity is not always good publicity. Those are their words, not mine. Just saying. <laughs> what would you say, apart from that, has been the craziest moment that you guys have experienced on or off stage? On or off stage? On or off stage. It's probably, we can't really say a lot, wait. Um, <laughs> oh, on stage, there was um, there was a little gig that we did. Uh, it was in a pub in Aldershot. 
<laughs> and, oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, this um, it, it was one of those gigs where we were playing to about two, three people or something like that. The, the gig was a complete I joke. I.e. our girlfriends. <laughs> Basically, yeah. And then one mate, he comes into the pub. Uh, he's having an absolutely great time. He buys himself a pint. He's dancing at the front. He's throwing it everywhere. Like, he has to go grab another pint. Before we know it, the police come in, tackle him to the ground. Apparently, this guy had been running around with a machete all night. And he actually had a machete in his pocket <laughs> at the time. So, um... So yeah, the one guy that was actually there enjoying the music got arrested. So, <laughs> that tells you, that yeah. tells you what about Aldershot. <laughs> yeah, and our fan base. <laughs> They're all machete wielding nutcases in Aldershot. Yeah. Yeah, man. yeah, that was a good one. What about like off stage, like kind of any backstage stuff? Anything crazy happen? They found the guitarist from Blackstone Cherry staring at our toilet in Leeds. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. If you guys could have any superpower, which one would you have and why? Being Iron Man. <laughs> why? It's not a superpower, it's just really smart. Yeah, and really good looking and really rich. That's <laughs> the superpower I want. <laughs> so you could be Batman, if anything. He has money, more so than Iron Man, maybe. Yeah. He's not uh, as good looking. He doesn't have an awesome iron suit. <laughs> True. <laughs> he doesn't need one, though. Died. Yeah. What? He doesn't need an iron suit though, because he's, he's Batman. Everyone needs an iron suit. Not Batman. I'm not getting into this. <laughs> Good show. What about you? Probably invisibility so I can spy on boobies and stuff. <laughs> I'll go for invisibility as well. I'd be so good for messing with people. Um, <laughs> There's, yeah, just so much you could do to wind people up, confuse people, which I, would just give me, like, infinite entertainment. So, yeah, I'll go for invisibility as well. <laughs> I don't even know. Steve wants the power Think of friends. Yeah. Power of friends. <laughs> I'll have the power of friendship, please. <laughs> Someone please love me. Oh, maybe. I'll think about it. <laughs> But cool. Cheers, guys. Thank you for allowing me to interview you. Um, enjoy your gig tonight and enjoy the rest of your tour. With, with or without the Jokers, we have no idea. But uh, uh, massive thank you uh, to you guys, and I hope to see you guys soon. Cool. Cheers, Cheers, man. Man. See you guys.